Hey, this is Peggy with Easy Peasy Machine Embroidery, and today we are going to be in the Premiere Plus uh, 2 software, specifically the Ultra version, and we are going to be using the Create module to create a simple uh, logo. So, let's begin. So, today I would like you to be in the Premiere Plus Ultra, and we're going to go down to the little tulip in the lower left-hand corner. And go ahead and click on that. And we're going to go ahead and load a picture into the paint window. And the picture I want is right there. We're going to crop it. It doesn't matter that the background is different colors or their shadow or anything. We're only doing the lettering. It's helpful to decide what hoop you're going to use beforehand. And for this design, we're using the 120 by 120. And I'm going to rotate it. Next, this is immaterial because we're not going to do it in anything other than one color. And what I'm going to do is maximize my screen. And I'm going to go down in the lower right hand corner to the zoom button. And I'm going to just zoom in on. The design. So there we have it. Now I'm going to do this in Precise Create. And what I'm going to do here is change my line to a double or triple stitch. I'm going to do a double stitch for now. I have a pat I would like a pattern fill. And over here to fill area and line, I am going to pick the fill that I'd like to use. So I've got my pattern fill, I've got my line that is going to be the uh, the border. And one last thing, anytime you're going around small curves, it's usually pretty helpful to turn your stitch back to 1.5. That helps the um, stitching go around the curve easier. And we're going to kind of decide where we want to start, where would be a good place to start for this design. And I'm going to start right here and for the purpose of this does this uh premiere plus two anytime i hold down the control button on the computer it will create a square and that is an angle if i let up on that button i have a circle and if i just go like this I have a a, a a curve here, and I want it to be an angle. So I hold down the control button, and I just continue on. You can rearrange these buttons later. And when you go around a curve, generally I like to place a few extra buttons in there. And you can always, you can, excuse me, you can always add um, more dots later or remove dots. Got to hold the control button again. And you just continue until you hit the very last spot. And then you can right click 
and it will do your stitching and uh, border outline. And right now you're going to say, oh, what about that hole? Okay, that's what it looks like. Now I'm going to go and use the hole tool. And I'm going to guesstimate about where that hole was. Right click, and there it is. And these dots, like I say, can be moved. And if you want to add or delete buttons, you can go to the Home tab and use the Insert, Delete, or Edit Points. Edit Points right there. I can hit Insert and Add a Point if I want. I can hit Delete and Delete a Point if I want. Okay, so that's how you do that. And what I'm going to do is next I'm going to go into Quick Create. There's a little star here. So I'm going to go in the Quick Create. I'm going to leave the double stitch and pattern fill on. And then I'm going to go down and get this star. I'm just going to click it. And I'm going to hold down the shift key. So as I resize it, it's proportional. Place that right over that. I can twist it if I want. OK. So right now, the machine is going to stitch out this first and then this star. I personally like to insert a color change between different sections. It just helps me to know where I'm going. And I am going to move that star underneath. So what I did is I highlighted that blue section. That's why I do the different colors. It's easier to grab things. Um, so I just highlight them and uh, I do a right uh, left click and just drag it where I want it to be. Okay, we're going to leave it right there. And then we're going to go back to Precise Create. I'm going to add another color. And this time I'll do a green. And I'm going to start with Create Liner Area in Precise Create tab. And I'm going to just place with the Control button down. those corners right click and again I am going to insert a color change I'll use orange this time and create area or line holding the control button down and then back up again. And I'm just going to go around. Control button down. And I'm going to go around the G. And 
and I see a dot that's definitely out of line, so I am going to go ahead and move that around. And all I have to do is left click it to move it. Can even these up just a little bit. And hope you get the idea there. I'm going to right click, and there is the next letter. So the other thing I need to think about is how do I want this to stitch out? And I want to make sure that the ALE is sitting on top of the green. So I'm going to take and do the green and move it right up there on, very, on the very top. And if I want, I can change the G into the purple color. So the purple color is the 2588 Mid Lilac. I personally like to leave um, the, the different colors uh, because it uh, doesn't create a, a, you know, the jump stitch there. It, uh, sometimes when I leave them the same color, um, when it jumps, the needle will on thread and then it starts sewing without the thread in it. So that's why I do the color changes. So, um, trying to think what other things I need to talk about here. Freehand. Oh, okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do a save as. And in this program, we have the EDO files. And what I'm going to do is name it. So, um, logo. G-A-L-E, and I'm going to put it in my signature folder. And an EDO file is a file that you can go back and edit. So if you want to make changes, you open up that EDO file, and you can go ahead and change things. Um, I also wanted to show you... If we go to the home, we can go to life view. And this is what it's going to look like when it's stitched out. We can increase it, decrease it. We can move it around. We can see what it looks like with different angles. And finally, we're going to export. And again, it's going to go into my signature file. And then I can go ahead and open my Premiere Plus software and do an insert. And there it is. And if I want to make this into a patch, I can go to the frame tab and the top are appliques and I don't want that. So I'm going to go right down here to the rectangle and I'm going to just click outside and that will allow me to move it the way I want it to be moved. If I, let's see if I can get rid of this now. If I, if I clicked on the entire G-A-L-E logo and then clicked on that, it would frame the entire logo box and you can't move it around or change it. So control Z, control Z. I'm going to click outside. I'm going to make sure that this is not highlighted. Click outside. Now I can change things up and make them the size that I want. 
So we're going to go home. We're going to go combine all. If you had a design and you wanted, uh, say it was in Madeira, and you wanted to change it over to Robus and Anton, you would do that through color and tone. And right here, you would change it to, for instance, your own threads or Robus and Anton, whatever type of thread you're using. Okay? So now we are going to export. And I'm just going to export over the same file. You can call it, I often will call these files Logo Gale 1, Logo Gale 2, Logo Gale 3, until I get what I'm looking for um, style wise. Okay, so we're going to go export and we're going to say okay. And that's basically how you're going to do that logo. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, remember to like and subscribe to my channel. And hopefully, we'll do more of these videos someday. Thank you.